Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. What's the most fun you've ever had? Just be able to see the people that I work with and also get to be here with dad and learn from him uh, on how to work hard. Before I went to Concord, uh, it was a very, very low and slow road. Uh, really, nobody helped me out. Uh, I really didn't have a lot of friends, uh, and I had some trust issues. I had a lot of anger problems, and I wish, and I wished every day somebody would help me with those two things. But once I got to Concord, everything changed. The, the people were nice, the teachers were nice. They helped me with a lot of things that, that nobody else would have at the other two schools that I went to. Um, and I'm thankful that I went there. It, it, they really helped me out with my disability and what I needed and what, what communicational advice that I needed as well. The uh, environment of that school really helped me out a lot. Well, for starters, I really didn't know that I had Williams Syndrome. Um, I found out when my parents told me, and I was really curious on what it was. And the effects for it are the cardiovascular uh, in, in the heart, the uh, scoliosis, um, sometimes I can't, you know, I don't focus very well and I need something to help me f with my focus. And also I have very bad anxiety, but I'm working on that. Life After Concord was a big success. They helped me graduate. Not only that, I got a I got to go to the Tiger Life program at the University of Memphis, which is a two-year program, and that helped me a lot too with my disability. Um, and once I got to Whitmore, I got hired by a lovely woman by the name of Miss Jean. She's helped me through everything, um, through the hard times and the good times. She's helped me through everything and the challenges that. I face every day, she's helped me through that too. Um, but everybody here is so welcoming here at Whitmore. Every day, you know, everybody says hello and really has a, everybody has a jolly smile and and loves to interact with, with different people and the, the temps that come here are very nice too. Whitmore is such a awesome place to work. What's up? You were supposed to get a haircut last night. Shh. See what he does? <laughs> I've always wanted to give back to a school that helped me with so many stuff. Uh, the yearbook signing, the Chili Chili 5K, it, it, both are a bunch of things that, the, that Concord Academy does. They've helped me with so much and I want to give so much back to, because of how much they helped me with the struggles that, that I used to have and the uh, and the uh, just the hard times that I used to struggle with and they've always been there for me so why not me be there for them. If people tell you you can't, you know, do this or do that, you you know, you can't handle the 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 responsibility that other people can, don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Do what you want to do. If, if people say you can't, you know, go play football, go play football. If people say you can't play, basket, play basketball, go play basketball, go play a sport. Do something fun with your family that, that doesn't concern what other people say. If you got a, a wish in life or something that you want to do, go after it, chase it until you find your dream job or whatever you want to do, do what you believe in because there's nobody else that can tell you otherwise.